a voice that captures human minds, a private discourse. To become a leader of men is to become a leader of their minds. For the men that will ultimately follow you are those that first follow their own master. Make their master a follower, and the man will come of his own accord. That master is the mind. In order to teach otherworldly things, the sincerity of a student must be equally otherworldly. The desire to abandon must be as great as a desire to know. It will never be a coincidence that those who have arrived at the grand stage of their professions are the most appropriate individuals for this journey. For such things come to those who have uncommon DNA. And it is only those with the uncommonest of DNA who have even a loose prayer of imbibing the wholly antithetical and almost unbelievable ideas that are at the center of the truth. A man who truly believes that the sun rotates around the earth and who has not the DNA or the courage to seriously entertain the possibility that almost all that he has learned about life and the mind is criminally incorrect is not a candidate for the truth. No matter how sincere this letter may be or how much he is willing to pay for it. For sooner, for sooner or later, all humans default to their defaults. And this, coupled with my unwillingness to convince, is far from an alignment of sensibilities. World class is world class for a reason. If you seek to be heard, or listened to, or to influence, whether it is your employees, your spouse, your followers, your fans, or your very own children, you must cultivate a voice that resonates. In what way do such things happen? The vocal cords are forced open by air rising from the lungs. The lungs are filled with air that we breathe from the outside. But the air is saturated by a life force, prana. Pranayama is not the act of modulating breathing, as is widely believed. It is the act of modulating prana. I will share with you a Siddha secret. The amount of prana that one inhales is inversely proportional to the amount of involuntary thought that is occurring as he inhales. The lesser one's capacity for curbing involuntary thought, the less prana he imbibes from the air. The greater one's capacity for curbing involuntary thought, the more prana he imbibes from the air. And lest I forget to drop this bomb upon you, mindfulness actually increases involuntary thought. It is among the greatest myths propagated in this prescription-oriented society in which we live. We can thus deduce that the man who thinks only when he desires to think will intake more prana, and thus he will have a far greater constitution. This actually causes the vocal cords to resonate at a different frequency. This difference in frequency has a particular effect upon the mind which hears it. It must be understood that we are not the in-control humans that we believe ourselves to be. We are products of our varying physiologies and slaves to our minds until we learn to conquer this mind. Next, it is the content of our speech that has an effect upon human beings. 
it must first be understood that this content cannot be instructed or prescribed. If a psychologist, teacher, or guru tells you what to say, it will do very little. Cosmetics is the order of the day in this society, and cosmetics have zero power to sway the human mind. If you speak the words that you are told to speak, the mind that hears these words will see right through them. It will detect their lack of resonance and character. Understand this. A man who speaks words that are a byproduct of having truly arrived somewhere within himself carries a resonance and a power that overpowers all minds. Humans listen and follow that which their mind verifies as truth. Humans that learn and cultivate these truths do not lead people astray, for it is not in their constitution to do so. The beautiful irony in it all is that humans actually yearn to be led, not toward the things that they desire, but towards the place that will satiate them so completely that they become free from the imprisonment of desires. Namaste. Those who wish to apply for the private discourses may do so at www.kapilguptamd.com.